And there you go. Release your second hole. Protect the surface below where you are drilling holes with diamond hole saws. Add a little water. Release the tabs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another Tile Tool Tuesday. Thank you for joining me in this quick five minute segment. We are going to be talking about and reviewing a diamond hole saw kit or set, just like you see here. Now this diamond hole set has different size diamond hole saws from a quarter inch all the way up to two inches. And as usual, what we're going to do is very simple. Bring the camera up close, show you what's included in this kit show you a couple of accessories that work along with this kit and of course we will demonstrate how it works like usual there will be a link in the description below for this kit let's get on with it bring the camera up close show you what's included and then demonstrate how these diamond hole saws work with these guides and here we are a diamond hole saw kit for glass ceramic and stone a lot of applications for these hole saws. Various sizes ranging from a quarter inch all the way up to a two inch. The most typical for us is a one and three eighths inch as well as a one and a half inch. Now we will demonstrate how these work with these guides. I've got two guides here. A cheap drill axe guide. I think this runs about 17 bucks. It is plastic. You have bearings here. Here is a more high-end guide. This is by RTC, Russo Trading Company. Stainless steel, thick, dense foam. Now we're not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right to it and drill some holes. Now here is the tile that we're going to cut holes in. This is a perfect example with how difficult it is to start at a 45 degree angle, not using one of these guides in order to cut your hole. Let me quickly show you. Diamond hole bit. If you start drilling at a 45 degree angle, you have a high gloss, very popular 12 by 24 porcelain tile that is installed on shower walls quite a bit. It will simply and easily slip and scratch the glaze. So that's why these guides come in handy. You will need a drill. Attach like this, very simple. We first use this with the RTC stainless steel guide. Press down to get your suction. Loosen these up. Make sure it's sticking. Quick tip guys, always use some sort of foam board underneath the tile to protect whatever is underneath the tile from damage. Add a little water and drill your hole. Release the tabs. And there is your hole. This is why you want some sort of backing underneath the tile, such as foam board. You would not want that to happen to a laminate or wood flooring drilling holes in tile. Let's drill one more hole with the Drill X guide. Add water. and drill your hole. And there you go. Release. Your second hole. And once again, protect the surface below where you are drilling holes with diamond hole saws.
Well, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching once again. Now, you can obviously buy these individually. The most popular is one and three eighths, as well as one and a half. But keep in mind, these smaller diamond hole saws you can use to drill holes and tile for things such as anchors. And then the larger ones, you can drill holes and tile for such things like angle stop valves. Great kit, link in the description. Please share this video if you know anybody who might find it interesting or useful and I'll see you on the next one. And there you go. Release your second tool. Check the surface below where you are drilling holes with diamond hole saws. Add a little water. Release the tabs.